Hey, Don, I wonder if you want to uh, introduce Alexander to our Hello. learners. Is Alexander on? Oh, hi, Alex. Uh, well, Alexander is, um, Alexander Smith lives in Albuquerque, and he is the guy who uh, authored this learner accountability-based uh, training uh, software that you're working with. Starts from a, uh, a program that he developed called Personal Lexicon. And uh, when I saw it, um, I, I was put in touch with him by a, a mutual friend. And then when I saw it, I thought it had some great potential. So we're trying to work this to create a, a relatively simple piece of software that allows teachers to pull in uh, ready-made curricula or curricula that they create uh, in order to, um, you know, and, and in order to get people, particularly through self-teaching programs, and also just to make sure that you kind of do a flip classroom approach where you can present uh, material with videos and the, and the learner can work and practice. And then you make sure you give them an application to see that they really have learned it. And then you have a virtual posting where everybody can see it. And then you have your virtual meeting such as we're doing now so that uh, the group can bond together and know each other. So uh, I think he's done a terrific job in a very few months. So, Alex, welcome to the meeting. And we can't hear him either. And everybody, don't forget, if you, if you want to talk, you need to press on the uh, green microphone button. Or if it's gray, get it started. Turn it green. Definitely try Firefox, Alexander. Uh, guys, just so you know. Just so you know, once you click on the microphone and it goes green, your microphone is back um, all the time unless you're muted. So it, it stays active. A uh, reminder. Okay, folks, uh, we're seven minutes past 7.30, so we're going to get started. I see Bill is back with his real name. So are Marina, Monica, and June. Can everybody see the lab T that I'm sharing on my screen? Raise the hand if yes. No. No. Oh, you we had it. See it. We had okay. it for a while, but uh, it disappeared. No. How about now? Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Now I see it. Thank you. So, guys, uh, tonight's meeting, uh, it's pretty simple. It's basically a debriefing session. We would like you to share with us and with each other your experience with LabT. Uh, your impressions, what worked, what didn't work, uh, the sections that you like better, if you like the numbers. Did uh, you hit the record or button, the... Uh, Felipe? I did. Thank you. Uh, if you like the numbers or the telling time or the directions, what you found challenging, what you found easy. So it's basically, um, we like to gather your opinions. And of course, if you have any questions, about usability or about anything else, we're more than happy to answer your questions. So to be fair, I'm going to go in the order that I'm seeing here. June, why don't you start us and tell us a little bit of what did you what you thought about using LabT? Oh, actually, Bill came before June. I'm sorry. So Bill, why don't you start? Generally, I thought the uh... The software and the approach was very good. I, I did have a few 
issues in the beginning with getting functionality to work. That took a couple days to work out. Um, you know, Firefox and Internet Explorer and clearing the cache and deleting the software and reinstalling it and normal software stuff. Um, I did have some problems in the functionality of the software. If I will, in general, we were unclear, especially in the beginning, whether we should be in the Head Start uh, module or to stay out and and just do the big blue arrows to move through. And if you don't do it in the correct sequence, then everything that you've done in Head Start gets reset and the condition becomes no-go. Another thing was you can't resize the Head Start window. You can't change the text size either, so you can't make it bigger or smaller. Um, uh, so just to make sure that we, we talk a little bit about uh, each item, there were a couple questions regarding the progress of the Head Start being saved or not. Uh, Alex, could you address that for a minute? Yeah, hi. I got my mic working. Um, yeah, thanks for those comments, Bill. Um, so just to make sure everybody un understands where I'm coming from, um, as Don said, I, I'm the author of LABT. Um, what uh, Don and I have done is kind of integrate in Head Start into LABT, so I'm not... Um, an aficionado on Head Start, but you know, having said that, I I think um, we solved the problem Bill had with uh, cash. I don't know exactly uh, what caused it, but we were able to solve it. Um, I'm I am interested in that um, what you just said, Bill, regarding uh, the no go progress not being saved. Um, I guess I would like some clarification. You're not the only student that has seen that, and I. I don't exactly understand it. I mean, I know what the no-go is, but um, do we have activities that ask uh, our students to do the standards? Because as far as I can tell, the no-goes don't affect access to any task or step. That, that's so, correct. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, go uh, ahead. Let's let Don. Uh, interject just a little bit, just because he knows Head Start very well. Go ahead, Don. Oh, I, 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 I think Bill's comment is probably better. But what, what it does, Alex, is if you, if you don't use the advanced arrows and you stay inside the Head Start, when you come back to it, it, I think it's like Bill says, I, it resets and you get, uh, you get uh, no goes or incompletes. So um, you have to follow the sequence well, and I and I have to say, particularly in mine, that my instructions are not are not clear on that. Uh, I don't address it. I I had assumed when I did my videos that when I ended a task, it would come automatically back to the videos, and it doesn't. You can stay in the Head Start all the way through the program and never come back to the uh, Lab T uh, software. So that that's what we got there, and. And and you you when we were talking about it, you indicated that we'd have to somehow get into the Head Start to to change that. So that's that's how Bill. I, have, have I kind of accurately said uh, what you have experienced? Yeah, that that's uh, correct. When when we started and Ariana did her little speech, and then we were in the Head Start. Uh, not really paying attention, we stayed in the Head Start and and went through uh, uh, quite a few different modules and tasks. And then then I realized, oh well, uh, there was supposed to be some more stuff somewhere, and Don was supposed to give a speech. So let's go back and start over. And when we did, you know, then everything we did in Head Start. Uh, got reset as if we hadn't completed it at all. It's not a big deal because it's all a learning experience, but 
that's a functionality problem. Mm -hmm. Well, if you if you get the mouse pain like I do, I don't like to have to go back and do all that stuff again. Um, so it, it is something to think about. And and June had the same issue too. She called me about that uh, too, and then we we worked that. Well, out. it is kind of paperwork, right, Don? It doesn't really affect uh, and Bill. It doesn't really affect um, what you can access uh, really, unless you want to go to the standards. So it's not going to block your progress. If it doesn't save progress with a head start, well, all you have to do is click on the arrow. All you have to do is click on the arrow on the right and move on. The the the, the thing about it is, though, you you we do, for example, in my videos, I tell them that when they get done with the five uh, uh, steps or so, go ahead and do the standards. And you know, when you get to the end of it, if you really went through the whole head start, you'd get a certificate at the end of it uh, if you uh, passed all the standards. Though. Okay. So. You know, it's uh... um, it seems to me, guys, that uh, we embedded the Head Start inside LabT, uh, and it seems that for some reason it's not tracking people's progress. So, would it be an alternative? People use the Head Start outside directly from the website, because that one will definitely track your progress, right? Would that be a good alternative? It, it tracks your progress if you stay on the on the head start if you follow the sequence you'll come back to the same head start and it will say complete and incomplete what happens though if you stay inside it and then come back to the lab t it resets the head start as long Correct. as you follow the sequence you're okay uh but if you drop it like like bill and, and june did and i did too by the way uh and um it, it resets to come back with incompletes. Okay, I understood now. Well, it seems like we've we found a solution for that. So guys, if you are seeing it just as a learning experience and you wanna go to the activities for your own personal enhancement, so that's not really a problem, but if you would like to take this further, just bear in mind that it's better if you follow the sequence so it saves your progress. And, and I apologize that we did not anticipate that. Thanks for bringing to our attention. Well, it's amazing. You know what we say in the army is uh, the, the best laid plan doesn't survive the first battle, and that's what that's what we're seeing here. It's kind of uh, interesting to to see how when you really get down to doing it, how how it, it deviates from what you thought was in your head. And you didn't clearly uh, say to somebody, and then of course you also have the problem of there are certain features that it takes so much time to do. Uh, that, that we couldn't put them in. Great. So what about June? Would you like to share some comments with us? June's typing. Did, did you lose the microphone again, June? Okay, so while June is typing, Marina, would you like to share sure some thing. comments Sure thing. Absolutely. Us? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Um, so I did the same thing as Bill and I guess June, and I was all over the place um, in Head Start, going through Head Start, just ripping through all those really fun things, and then I realized that I had to backtrack and, uh, and go through it kind of as a sequence. I think I figured it out by the end, but um, yeah, I was I was kind of all over the place. Um, so yeah, I have to say that it was um, it was fun. Most of the exercises that I did or activities um, were just a lot of fun. They were pretty simple for me. Um, it was just coming from a, a French background, I you know kind of know how to do some of this stuff. Um, there were a couple of issues, like one of the activities where you had to. Um, drag uh, individual letters into the sequence um, where I kind of, I don't know, I must have double clicked something and my E disappeared and it never returned to me. So I had to deliberately put in a wrong answer. So um, so I'm not sure what, you know, went on there. Um, let's see, at the, on the final assessment, <clears throat> excuse me, I um, I was supposed to listen to the recording in order to put in the correct word, <clears throat> and I forgot to do that. So I was just putting correct words in according to the grammar of the of the prompt of the sequence, 
And so when I got 40%, <clears throat> excuse me, let me try to get this frog out of my throat. <clears> throat> so when I, I failed the assessment, it made me go and do like most of the um, module exercises over again. So that was my fault because I just didn't read the instructions clearly enough. But so, you know, that, that took me another extra half an hour to go and, and do that. So basically, I, you know, I had a fun time um, learning um, all three modules. Not sure about the, the duck and the frog songs. Um, but one thing, I guess, that um, two things that I would have to say about this program are that um, when we finally got to the point where we were recording, um, for example, directions, I felt that there was a huge leap between the activities where I was, you know, spelling things out or listening and identifying a word to actually saying it. Um, and then the second thing is that um, you know, I'm not a big fan of translation. So I think, you know, for directions, for example, it would have been great to have seen um, a map and to actually, you know, speak the directions of the map rather than, um, you know, having to, to translate something. Um, whenever possible, I think language should be acquired through the language and not through the, you know, filter of a, of a second language. So that's, that's about it. Uh, I completely agree with you, and I, I can actually address the, the, the directions part a little mm -hmm. bit since I, I worked on it. Uh, I, my, my original intention was to use maps, but the way it's set up right now, you cannot embed uh -huh. pictures. So I had to try to work around that, that limitation, but you're, you're mm -hmm. absolutely right. The, the initial idea was to have a map where people would get the directions visually awesome. and then say cool. them. Uh, thanks for the comments. They were, they were very helpful. Uh, it seems like lots of people are having trouble with sequencing, so that's definitely something for mm -hmm. us to keep in mind for the future. How about Monica? Well, I am like too to far behind comments? in the program to begin with. I just started today and finished my first, uh, I would say, just first phase numbers, and I have no idea what people are talking about. I'm hoping whatever I did is okay as I followed the direction I was told just to click the uh, advanced arrow, and that's what I kept doing. However, in between, when the instructions come, it has nothing to do with the activity that is following or followed by the activities. So I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not, so I guess I will. And then I had to attend this meeting, so I, after this meeting, I think I'll find out whatever I did was correct or not. That's where I am at. By the way, uh, okay. So, um, go ahead, Don. Well, I was just going to say, uh, Monica, we, we're using real names here. So, if you want to give your real name, go it's ahead. It's Asham. My real name is Asham. <laughs> I can type my name. Oh, okay. Here. It's, uh, Asham. Uh, I so think just to... uh, somebody else is typing. I don't know how to. Uh, you can type. It's it's fine. So just to make sure that uh, we address uh, Monica's comment, okay, I'm going to keep saying fine. Monica, okay? Uh, we talked a little bit about this in the first meeting. So if you'll see my screen, just a reminder of the order. Mm -hmm. It's the video where we tell you what to do. Then you, do, you go only to that step that we talked about. You open Head Start. You go to that task that you just saw in the video. That's and what then I did. You move forward. Yeah, I, I followed exactly that's the, the same. Good. So that's the order you're supposed to go. Until the video tells you to go into Head Start yes, again. Yes, I, I didn't go into the Am Head correct Start. On it, I think when I click the advanced arrow, in between there are instructions, right? The screen pops up that tells you that now you're going to be doing this. But we don't do that. It says that now you'll be listening to the conversation and then click the right conversation or put it in the box or put it, but the next activity is about numbers, has nothing to do with the conversation. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm following. Don, did you get that? Yeah, I'm trying to trying to figure it out. If you're, are you in Head Start when you're doing that, Asha? 
I did that. I started out with Head Start and then I started on numbers. And the, at the bottom, that bar that has blue, green, and uh, purple, and it appeared as I was finishing or advancing the arrow, finishing the lesson, it kept getting, like it gave me an indication that it's being, you know, recorded or finished. But in between, when the window pops up after every two activities, the instructions are totally different than what the lesson entails. I think this is one of those situations that it's important that both people are looking to the same screen. So let's try to arrange that one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Okay. Okay, Monica, Sorry. and then we can look at Yeah, I think maneuverability on this probably I found Thank it you. harder than the lesson itself. I think lessons or activities are fun, but the maneuvering around, I think it's still, it seems like everybody has different issues and still struggling with it. I agree. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Those are good comments. Tanya, how about you? Yeah, great comments so far. Thank you so much, guys. And I saw that Tanya has used the chat. Are you having troubles with the audio? Here, I can read for Tanya if she's not able to get on her mic this evening. Tanya has written, let me get to the top. Good evening. I've completed module, oops, my screen is moving. I've completed Module 1, Task 1, and Module 2, Task 2, and Task 4. I've gone directly to t Head Start after the video and was try trying to follow the course syllabus. I completed the standards, got 100% when I submit, but then I log out and log back in and it doesn't save my progress. So Tanya, we were discussing that, that very issue at the beginning of class. Apparently, um, at least the impression I'm getting is if you're in Head Start and keep going through the modules in there, or the tasks, and don't go back to the the big arrow on the bottom right of Lab T or LABT, then uh, it doesn't fall. It doesn't track your progress. That's my understanding. So we've been talking about it a little bit. Uh, but Lab T does track your progress, right? When you log back in and out, it takes you back to where you were. It's Head Start that is not tracking. Did I understood correctly? Correct. I think that's correct. Yes. Okay. Well, I, I think what happened. Yeah, might, that's uh, definitely a tough one. Felipe, if if you would stay in yes, Head go ahead. Start, that version of Head Start that you get into, it will it will track. But what won't happen is it won't track the lessons at the bottom of the bar, because you have to move through the videos to have that kind of of tracking. And then, like like Bill says, when you come back into it, it'll it'll reset. And uh, you you won't you won't know where you're where you're really at in the head start. So it's it's we've got to work that out. That's uh, that's difficult. Can I add something? I have a question for Alex. Uh, remember when I, I, you told us that you you were able to remove the login from Head Start when you added it here? Do you think that might be why? Well, uh, yeah, Felipe. I was going to just add that. Um, that could be why. Um, what, what, what I could do is reverse that change. So what we've done here, as uh, Ariana, Felipe, and Don know, we've merged two products. Um, so we have a login for LABT, and separately there's a login for Head Start. But Head Start, it doesn't track your progress. It only tracks on a single computer. And LABT, you can do it from anywhere. But that's kind of beside the point. We had these two logins for two different products, and I don't have the uh, source code for Head Start, but I was able to um, do a little technical mumbo jumbo and remove the login. There's basically a test login within Head Start that I was able to take advantage of, and maybe um, that that using of the test login is a cause of an issue, Felipe, and I could. Uh, undo that change and and um, see what happens um, so it wouldn't affect content because what we're doing is LABT is using um, is going to the internet to get head start from personallexicon.com I could just make a change on personallexicon.com and people would get um, the original head start um, at least in theory 
And so I don't know. I guess it, it's possible. Can you capture the, okay, the lab T login and insert that into a Head Start? Unfortunately, uh, not. Um, I, I would like to um, do redo some of those activities in Head Start inside LABT. Uh, you know, Don and I are kind of working on different solutions here, and that is one solution. But um, we don't have the ability to uh, communicate between the programs too easily. So it's just basically LABT bringing up Head Start in a separate window. Yeah. Yeah, I also had uh, a lot of flash pop ups that just would come from here and there and asking me to to allow more disk space for, for Flash to run in, which was a little bit irritating. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah I know you guys oh, have no control over that, but since we're, we're, sh we're sharing battle scars here, that was one of them. Yeah, for Thank sure. Um, uh, and I don't know. There's I haven't seen that you myself. don't remember today. Sorry, just one second. If there's anything you don't remember today, we're going to have an exit survey that we're going to be sending to you guys in the next few days. So you can also use that to address anything that you didn't address today. And we appreciate it being, you being as thorough as possible. Don, go ahead. If I could uh, comment, I, I put a uh, in the chat thing the um... URL of the Defense Language Institute sites. So there's um, 22 Head Start programs there. There's among them Chinese, Russian, French. Uh, and they're going to be adding Italian and Japanese here very soon. Germans in it. Uh, I really, uh, any of you who wants a, a, you know, kind of, if you think the Head Starts are okay, um, they're free. Anybody can access them. You just work on them like you do uh, the way we've done it, and Frankly, before you go buy Rosetta Stone or something like that, yeah, try these things out at least to get started. Um, just thought I'd, I'd let you know about that. Um, the uh, yeah, that's it. Cool. Oh, so just before I forget, guys, one last reminder: uh, make sure if you haven't finished already to follow the schedule on your syllabus. I believe the last day is Saturday, correct, Ariana? Yes, and we'll have that exit survey out Friday or Saturday, too. Cool. So, I mean, of course, you can always go back and do your thing, but for the purposes of this project, if you could be done with the three lessons by, uh, for the purpose of this pilot, if you could be done with the three lessons by Friday, that would be ideal, but of course, there is some wiggle room there. And please make sure to fill out the exit survey. Alex, go ahead. Okay, I'm just getting used to this Adobe Connect now. Um, I was wondering if people are understanding the recording process okay when they submit um, their Spanish recordings. Do we have any comments on that? No problem from Bill. None from Asham or Monica. Okay, great. I wondered yeah, if that it's process the main was, issue uh, was the, the progress thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, guys, that was excellent feedback. Do we have any last minute questions before we adjourn? So, so Bill, you think, uh, you think the uh, approach has possibility here? Yeah, I do. Uh, it was it was mostly it was fun. I, you know, it it was interesting and the stuff was mixed up pretty well. Um, it's just some of that functionality that that could be polished a little bit, and then I think it'll be great. Well, one of the uh, I have a question. One of, okay. uh, to Bill or to anybody. Uh, Bill, if you had gone straight to the Head Start without watching the video, do you think your experience would have been much different? 
Um, no, I like the videos. Uh, the the ones that uh, were inserted. Uh, Ariana, John, the and ones, yourself. You mean those videos? Yeah, the ones that we explained what to do exactly. No, I think uh, those were those were good. I'm glad those were in there. Um, it's just maybe started out bad or. Um, Ariana's explanation wasn't um, what I expected, or maybe I wasn't listening well. I don't know, but I got started off wrong, and then I had all the software problems, which made it even worse. So, otherwise, yeah, you know, I, I think that what you said the first time we talked about uh, adding a little uh, personal touch that was good. What what uh, I think Thank you. the head starts themselves, and incidentally, Marina, uh, we uh, DLI, and, and that's where I came from. Uh, I was provost there. Mm -hmm. um, those that the French courts and the Spanish courts uh, are are not very good head starts, and they're being revised this summer. Yeah. Uh, the other thing uh, for all of you is that I I really feel like the head starts are not interactive enough, at least in Spanish and French. They're too much like multiple choice and drag and drop and the videos and the applications were intended to make sure you got more out of it than just moving the uh, moving the different things around and in other words the idea was to get you to, we, we present we practice with the head start then we uh, produce with the applications then you post to the virtual environment um, so that people can see and hear that everybody else is working on it and so forth. And then the, the last P, I haven't got a good P for it, but it's promote, which is this kind of a session where we get together and, and talk about the things and work out the issues. So that's that's the concept behind this whole thing. Yeah, interesting. Okay, we're done. Uh, I think we are about done. Any other outstanding issues, guys? Um, I have a comment question for Don. The uh, the link that you put up there, it uh, you have to remove the period, otherwise it doesn't work. But it it oh, right. looks more like uh, you know an FTP site than uh, than something where I can really find out what I want to do. So I I don't know what. Uh, What's the story well, there? Look, just go, just go to to dot edu. Don't don't put the slash products on it, okay? And then and then you find in, I, you had it up there, Felipe. That was great. Um, that's the head start. Go back to the the DLI site. The home, yeah. Now, if you look in the middle of it, you'll see underneath the e in the globe, you'll see products. And then yes. you can click on your head starts and all these other things. They're really, uh, they're really some good language things. Gloss and head start are really terrific language um, uh, opportunities. And then uh, what? Go, go ahead and hit head start. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave that link to everybody. Let me do one thing. Just one second. Did it open on everybody's yep. computer? Yeah. You have the power. Yeah. Okay. So I do, right? <laughs> so guys, that's the website you go, and then in the middle, as Don said, there is products, and then you have several products, but specifically the Head Start is a good one for you. Okay, any more questions? And the Head Start page would look like this. And then that's why you see all the languages. It has quite a few. Any last minute questions, guys? No. Nope. Okay, so uh, those who have finished, good job. Those who are yet to finish, remember you have until Saturday, technically, feel free to contact us. In the meantime, if you still have any questions, it's not over just because we're having our last meeting today. So we're still available to help you with anything that you need. And thanks so much. Thanks very much. Okay. It's been fun. Thank you.
Thank all. Thanks. Thanks to all of you for per participating. Okay, I'm going to close the meeting room.